गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम सदाशिव सरंभाचार्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नारायण सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा Pranam Shri Prabhu ji and all the Atma Jyoti. Happy Shivaratri. I'm sure you will enjoy the skit. The unexpected guest, based upon the Katopanishad. Welcome to our first scene. What happens when some friends get together? Let us see. It's wonderful that we all can come. At such a short notice today, let's go and surprise Soma by wishing her. Sadhvi, did you get the cake? Yes, I got her favorite, the black forest. Mmm, yummy. Wonderful. Come on, Chandrika, Bhani, Meenakshi, hurry up! The door is already open. All happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Many, many happy returns of the day. Returns of the day. Oh, thank you. It was nice of you all to remember. Arey, how could we forget you, Suma? You are the official calendar of our group. You remember all our birthdays. You organize our get-togethers. Suma, is everything okay? Somehow you seem to be a little dull today. We thought you'll be so thrilled when we all come and surprise you. I'm really happy to see you all, but I'm just not in the mood to celebrate my birthday. Why? What's the matter? Can we do anything to help? Actually, my uncle passed away from a heart attack. You. We are so sorry to hear that, Suma. How old was he? Ninety-five, I think. Of course, it always hurts when someone you love passes on. But he had a long life, you know, Suma. Uh, uh, yes, he did. But I'll certainly miss him. But that's not the only reason I'm depressed. There is, is there something else also? Uh, ever since I heard about my uncle, there are so many questions churning in my mind. What is life all about? Yeah. We are born, live for a few years, and die. Most of us don't even do anything worthwhile with our lives. Even if we do something meaningful, death comes along and put a stop to it. Death is such a big mystery. Well. You're not the only one with all these questions, you know, Suma. Nachiketa had them too. Have you read the Kathopanishad? Uh, I have heard of it, of course, but I don't know too much about it. Why don't you tell me, Vani? Uh, if it answers some of my questions, it would really help me. Hey, I have an idea. Suma, we are all planning to do a skit based on Kathopanishad. At the Shivratri celebrations, as an offering to our Sadguru, Sri Narsimha Prabhuji, we are planning to practice today anyway. So why don't we practice here? That's a wonderful idea, Suma. Here is the script. You can also play a small role in the script. 
I have marked the place for you. Let us begin with the invocation. I will chant the Shanti Mantra of the Katopanishad. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahano Bhunaktu Sahavir Yankaravahai Tejasvina Vadita Mastu Ma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 hi. May he protect us both. May we attain vigor together. Let our studies be invigorating. Let there be no hostility between us. Peace on all sides. Dear Atma Jyotis, come with us to an ashram in the Vedic age. It belongs to Gautama, whose father was a Vajashrava, which means giver. Gautama's father had given away everything that he possessed to gain enough merit to go to heaven. Gautama, who has a young son named Nachiketa, also wants to donate everything he owns by performing yajna called Vishwajit. Does he have enough dispassion to do this? Let us find out. My dear disciples, take these gifts to the Yajnashala. Escorts these cows as well. We will donate them all to Brahmanas. Prime cows? These are not prime cows. They have drink, drunk water and eaten grass for the last time. They have yielded milk till they became barren. Look at them tottering as they walk. How can my father even think of donating these to attain heaven? If he gives such miserly gifts, he will lose the merit he gained through the yajna. What shall I do? How can I alert him without offending him? Father, please don't give those barren cows. We have excellent ones in our Goshala. Let us donate those. Oh, father is not paying any attention to me. How shall I catch his attention? Ah, I have an idea. Father, you're giving away all your positions to To whom will you give me? To whom will you give me, father? Father, listen. To whom will you give me? Wretched boy. Can't you see I am busy? Do you want to know to whom I will give you? I will give you unto death. Oh, what have I done in my anger? Nachiketa, are you all right? Nachiketa, Nachiketa, Nachiketa. It's a long, long way to Yamaloka. You just can't walk and get there. It's a long, long way to Yamaloka. But Nachiketa went there. It's a one-way ticket to Yamaloka. That's the only ticket you get. It's a one-way ticket to Yamaloka. But Nachiketa went there. But Nachiketa went there. But Nachiketa Vende. Wow! The Lord of Death has a beautiful abode indeed. Let me wait here till Lord Yama comes. Are, who is this unexpected guest? How did he come here? Unannounced and uninvited? So many devotees on earth remember me every day. But even they don't come here uninvited. What? Are you surprised that the Lord of Death has devotees? Well, listen to them on earth. You will hear their voices now. How often they remember death. Listen. 
என்னை போய் நீ பாட்டின்னு கூப்பிடுவியா கொன்னிடுவே பாரு கொன்னிடுவே that is one of my duties you know மூன்று வாய் சூடண்டி எந்த பாக வஞ்சேஸ் பெற்ற கூட எக்கடோ பை யாரோ கச்சரா ரெஸ்டாரன்ட்ல பை செஸ்தாடு that is also one of my devotees chamar me aur kar nahi dunga wow i have more devotees than all the gods put together naan torsidda hudugina nin madve makkolde hodre naan aatmahatya maadkonbidtin nodu did you hear that now do you understand how many devotees i have on earth i have so many i should seriously consider downsizing my yamadutas my devotees will do most of my work for me by killing each other <laughs> but who is this who is this unexpected guest look at him how radiant he is who oh, sevaks when did this seeker of brahman arrive here 3 days ago you say and you have not offered him any hospitality Oh my god he has been waiting for me without food and water don't you know you will lose all your merit if you do this bring him some cool water to drink at once my boy my boy please don't be offended i am so sorry that you stayed here for 3 days without any hospitality to make up for this i will offer you 3 boons you can choose whatever you want and i will grant it what would you like oh lord yama i offer my pranams to you it is very kind of you to offer me three boons here is what i want for the first one when i left my father was furious with me let his anger melt away when you send me back let him recognize me and greet me happily well 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 this is a smart lad indeed huh in one boon he packed in so many things and also did you notice at the very outset he is making sure that i send him back to earth ah yeah he is clever yes nachiketa let it be so when i send you back to earth your father will receive you with open arms you will be so happy that you have come back from the jaws of death what is your second boon oh lord of death did you not did you know that you are the most feared god on earth <laughs> so what i also have the greatest number of devotees as you just saw do you know why everyone wants to go to heaven well it's a nice place you know no they want to go there because you are not there only when you are present old age disease hunger thirst and death rear their heads since you are not there heaven is completely free of fear that's why people go go there and dance and rejoice hey nachiketa just because i gave you three boons it doesn't mean that you can be cheeky and rude to me no no lord yama i am just preparing the ground for my second boon oh is that so let me hear your second boon then please teach me the yagna that has the power to come for eternal heaven or brahmaloka i will learn it with diligence when i go back i can teach my father and relatives to perform it then they can go to brahmaloka i have transferred this knowledge to you nachiketa because you are pure of heart and indeed eligible to receive it as i am pleased with your selflessness and dedication in taking care of your father's welfare before your own of my own accord i confer an extra boon upon you may the fire ritual henceforth be called nachiketa agni in your honor i also gift you this beautiful necklace of special gems 
reflecting all the colors of the rainbow. This is for you. Please take it. Perhaps the Lord of Death is trying to distract me. I will not succumb to his tactics. I will focus and state my third boon clearly. Lord Yama, after death, some say that the soul exists, others that it does not. Since you are the Lord of Death, you're the most competent teacher to instruct me on this topic. This secret of death, I ask, as my third boon. Oh, just as I expected. He's going directly for my jugular vein. He seems focused and intelligent. I don't mind teaching him this truth if he's really eligible for it. But I need to test him first. Oh, Nachiketa, your question is indeed a tough nut to crack. Even the gods are not clear about this. It is difficult to understand this because the self is so subtle, you know. Don't ask me to reveal this truth to you. Choose some other Bhuna Chiketa. Ask for anything that you like. My dear Lord Yama, as you yourself admitted, even the gods are confused about this. Then where can I find a more competent teacher than you? I will be a fool if I don't take this opportunity to go. I choose only this and no other for my third boat. Nachiketa, think well, Nachiketa. I can offer you sons and grandsons who will live for a hundred years. In Yamaloka, anyone from past, present or future can talk to me. Would someone please advise me? Nachiketa, I'm Ashwatthama, one of the seven Chiranjeevs. I lacked wisdom and engaged in so many heinous acts. So Lord Krishna cursed me with immortality. Pain and suffering attacked me continuously. I beg for death every minute, but it eludes me. Longevity without wisdom is not a boon. Nachiketa, it is a curse. Do not be deceived. Use your viveka. Yes, of course, he is right. Lord Yama, this boot makes no sense to me. Of what use is long life without wisdom? All right, Nachiketa. Let that go if you don't want it. I can give you many herds of cows, horses, and elephants. I can give you as much gold as you want. With this wealth, you can satisfy all your desires. What do you say, Nachiketa? Will this give me lasting happiness? I am King Yayati. Nachiketa, do not accept this boon. I traded my senility with the youth of my son, Puru. After spending a thousand years trying to fulfill my lust, I understood the truth. Just as a fire cannot be put out by fe feeding it with ghee, the flames of desire cannot be quenched by fulfill fulfilling your cravings. Only jnana can remove the feelings of incompleteness from which the raging fire of desire is born. Yes, of course. Oh, Lord of Death, it is generous of you to offer me immense wealth. But I feel no pull towards it. The happiness that we get from satisfying our desires is temporary. Like a butterfly, desire simply flits from one flower to another without finding lasting satisfaction in any of them. I see, Nachiketa. Well, I am the lord of the earth, as you know, from my empire. Choose a kingdom of any size that pleases you. You will have infinite power. Define your own lifespan. Choose as many years as you want. And then I will give you an extra boon that you will enjoy all that you desire. It's a complete package. 
What do you say to that, Nachiketa? Chiketa, you are young in body but matured in wisdom. Listen to the learning of Alexander the Great. He led many conquests and waged many wars, ruled a vast empire, but he was powerless at the face of death and asked that his body should be buried with his hands outside the grave so that everybody could see that the Alexander the Great took nothing with him when he died. Do not accept this boon of huge kingdom. No, Lord Yama, finite things can never give infinite power or joy. As for a long life, now that you are my friend, I will live as long as you remain in power. Since I have been blessed by your auspicious presence, all the wealth that I need will flow to me. I have nothing to gain from the boon that you offer. Oh, very well, Nachiketa. You don't seem to care much for mortal things. So let me offer you pleasures of the heavenly realm that are not accessible to any mortal on earth. Ask for any pleasure that you like. Would you like apsaras with chariots, musical instruments to wait upon you, left and right? Their beauty is unmatched in any realm, you know. Every mortal will envy you. Achiketa, continue to be steadfast in your search for knowledge. I wanted to become Brahmarshi Vishwamitra. My tapasya was interrupted by Apsara Menaka. When I succumbed to her beauty, I lost all the merit of my tapasya and had to begin again. Apsaras are governed by the celestial rules and they only bring trouble to the mortals. Do not get tempted. <laughs> oh, Lord of Death, who knows better than you that everything that life is also subject to death? Our sense organs are bombarded with pleasure. They wear out, lose their vigor. Then they can't enjoy sensual pleasures anymore. Let your beautiful apsaras remain with you. Keep your horses and elephants. I want none of these. Reveal to me the secret of death. What happens to the self when it crosses <clears throat> over into great beyond. Teach me the knowledge of self that is shrouded in mystery. No other boon do I desire. Victory to you, Nachiketa. You have passed all my tests. There are two types of people in the world. Most seek prayers or short-term pleasures and very few seek shreyas or long-term goals. You are a seeker of Shreyas, Nachiketa. I admire your tenacity. Never for a second did you hesitate or falter. If all those who came here were like you, Yamaloka would be very thinly populated indeed. Nachiketa, listen to the truth about teachers and seekers. Most people have never heard about the self. Those who do hear about it don't have the ability to comprehend it. If you can find a guru who is competent to teach this truth to you, it is a great wonder. It is an even greater wonder to find a disciple who can comprehend this truth when it is taught. I am indeed fortunate to find a disciple like you, Nachiketa. May many seekers approach me with questions just like yours. Lord Yama, I too am blessed to find a guru like you who, are, who is a Shrotriya and a Brahmanishta, only one who has transcended duality and abides as a self can teach Atma Vidya. Janami aham shevadhi iti anityam nahi adhruvaihi prapyate hi dhruvam tat tata maya nachiketaha chitagnihi Anityaihi dravyaihi praptavan asminityam. 
Nachiketa, I was also a seeker like you. I too knew that wealth is impermanent. I was also aware that you cannot attain the permanent through the impermanent. Yet, I was not as steadfast as you, Nachiketa. I performed the Nachiketa Agni. I went to Brahmaloka and received Atmagnana. But I followed the long path of Kramamukti, step by step liberation. But you, you are following the path of Sadhya Mukti. It is a path of instantaneous liberation. I applaud you, Nachiketa. I applaud your Viveka. I applaud your Mumukshutva. Anyatra dharmat, anyatra adharmat, anyatra asmat, krita akrtat, anyatra bhutat cha, bhavyat cha, yatat pashyasi, tatvada. Lord Yama, teach me that truth which transcends the realm of virtue and vice, cause and effect, past and future. Teach me that which is beyond all pairs of opposites. Very well, Nachiketa. I will first initiate you into the Upasana of Om, the sacred syllable that symbolizes the manifest and the unmanifest. This will give you the subtlety of intellect to understand your true nature. Oh. Oh. I am all attention, Lord Yama. Listen well, Nachiketa. Most people think they are this body-mind complex. The one who identifies with the body is called the individual or the jiva. This wrong identification makes the jiva feel limited and incomplete. He tries to feel complete by acquiring more and more possessions, more and more possessions. But the happiness this brings does not last. So he oscillates between happiness and sorrow, forgetting his true nature. In order to fulfill his desires, one birth is not enough. He takes birth after birth, birth after birth. The irony is, all that he has to do to understand his eternal nature is to simply let go of the body-mind identity. But this has become a deep-seated illusion which it is not easy to uproot. When his mind is purified to some extent, Ishwara himself enters the life of the jiva in the form of the Sadguru. When the Sadguru teaches Atmagnana, the jiva realizes his true nature. What is the truth of the self? Nachiketa, it is only the body that has birth and death. The Atma or the Self is neither born nor does it die. It is unaffected by old age, sickness and death, by change. It has always existed and it will continue to exist forever. Though it is bigger than the biggest and smaller than the smallest, the self is present in the cave of the heart of all living beings. It is the witness that is aware of everything outside and inside. It manifests as the feeling, I am. I exist and I know that I exist. The self is not different from you, Nachiketa. You alone are the self. Your true nature is Sat Chit Ananda. How does one realize the self? Etadvaitat. Nachiketa, 
you are already the self but you will only realize this if you choose the self above all else leading a dharmic life the ability to control the mind and senses are also prerequisites for this with a focused mind listen repeatedly to the truth of the self contemplate upon it <clears throat> abide as the self this is the shortest path to self knowledge natiketa uttishthata jagrata prapya varan nibodhata shurasya dhara nishita duratyaya durgam pataha tat kavayah vadanti arise awake natiketa having reached the great ones learn from them treading this path is like walking on a razor's edge so say the wise ones but once you know this truth you are established in bliss and free from all suffering you are liberated forever from the clutches of death amazing is this truth that liberates one forever great indeed is my good fortune to have received this teaching from you lord yama i am truly blessed you too are an exemplary student nachiketa return to your father's ashram share this eternal truth with all eligible seekers may they too be blessed nachiketa returns to bhuloka to share his wisdom with us nachiketa's back from yamaloka glory to nachiketa glory to nachiketa glory to nachiketa this is our skit suma how did you like it it's wonderful I'm so glad that all of you came today, and now I'm feeling like it. Great. What was the takeaway for you from this, it, Suma? Ah, uh, well, it reminded me that my life is not meaningless at all. My purpose is to realize my true nature. This is the only way to exit suffering and abide as bliss. Absolutely true. If Nachiketa was fortunate enough to have Lord Yama as his guru, we are even more fortunate to have our Prabhuji as our Sadguru. He sums up the essence of Vedanta beautifully in just four lines. Shall we sit quietly for a few minutes and contemplate on them? No, no. ನಿಂಬುದು ನಾನಲ್ಲ ಈ ದೇಹ ಮನ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಾನಲ್ಲ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಆತ್ಮ ಶಿವ ನಾನು ನಾನೇ ಶಿವೋಹಂ 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 ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಹರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಹಿ ಓ ತತ್ಸತಿ